Being a bilingual person and having grown up in a Hispanic household in the United States, I can say that there is a great difference between the Latino and American cultures. Soy la hija de una mamá argentina y un papá chileno. I am the daughter of an Argentine mom and a Chilean dad, yet I have lived all my life here in the United States. As I was growing up, I was taught and purely spoken to in Spanish. However, when I began preschool, everyone spoke English. I can still vividly remember my teachers and peers speaking to me in English while I sat there awkwardly and in silence because I didn't understand what they were saying, nor did I know how to tell them that I didn't speak English. As time went on, I eventually caught on to the English language and am now fluent in both, and it has not been until recently that I've begun to notice the differences between the two cultures other than language. One of the more obvious differences is the difference between social approaches. With Hispanics, they greet each other con un beso y un abrazo, with a hug and a friendly kiss on the cheek. Over the years, I've noticed that Hispanics speak at a very fast pace, and their voices are filled with a lot of emotion. On the other hand, when I walk in the household of an American family, I find that many like to greet each other with a handshake and maybe a hug if they know each other well enough. Conversations with Americans tend to be in a more quiet, monotone voice and move at a slower pace and are shorter in general. Después de 15 años de mi vida, yo puedo ver cómo la cultura hispana y americana me ha afectado en cada día de mi vida. After 15 years of my life, I can tell, <laughs> I can most definitely see how both the Hispanic and American cultures have influenced me in every day of my life. In a way, it's kind of like having your own personal on and off switch in your brain. When I'm with Hispanics, the switch flips one way, and I immediately change my actions and how I greet people to be my more loud Latina self. Yet, when I'm with other Americans, the switch flips the other way, and my actions on how I greet and address people change almost completely. But I wish there was some sort of intermediate as opposed to just one way or another. Many consider the United States a melting pot due to its fusion and widespread amount of cultures. The thing is, no one melts. Las culturas diferentes están todas aquí, pero al mismo tiempo están muy separadas. The different cultures are all here, but at the same time, they remain so separate. I think that we can all benefit from learning and applying the affectionate personalities of Latinos and the ambition of Americans into our everyday lives. This way, many can feel more comfortable when around others that belong to a different ethnicity. All in all, throughout my life, I have created a habit of altering the way that I greet and address people based on their cultures, and I hope that we can all find a way to melt within our country, because this mix of cultures is so amazing and has influenced me in many more ways. Because, <laughs> porque los dos son increíblemente maravillosos y me han hecho la persona que soy hoy en día because both are incredibly wonderful and have made me the person that I am today. Thank you.